He like he, to me he, okay, he wanted Muhammad to just be a stay at home husband and do nothing and just bend it over. I bend it. I bend it over. <laughs> Muhammad to sit on his face. Vault opening. Welcome to the vault. <laughs> Hello. What is up, you dazzling diamonds and the others welcome back to my channel oh that was so that was so dramatic <laughs> what's going on <laughs> welcome back to my channel my name is linda kyle and this is the vault anyway you guys let's jump straight into this uh, into this video so you guys word on the street is that um muhale is going to be on a tell all expose type of i don't know if it's a series we'll just call it a thingy for now and yeah on show max if i'm not mistaken where he's gonna spill all the tea of what actually really happened between him and Somizi. Now, you guys know that Somizi had his reality show, which means that Somizi had his turn. It's like playing chess, you know? Don't come with a checkers board when we're playing chess. That's not how the saying goes. You know what I mean? I can't remember. But anyway, Somizi had his turn. And he had people on his reality show shitting on Mohale. It was literally like the Mohale show. Mohale should have gotten paid for Somizi's recent reality show because everything was really about him, you know. And I, I, I do feel like in Somizi's reality show, we didn't really get down to the nitty nitty gritty of it all. I didn't even watch the whole thing because I got bored at some point of the drag and the filth, you know. It's crazy. Everybody should be able to say their piece, even though that um, expose the first situation was leaked, you know. Everybody should have their the, 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 the chance to clear the air or tell their story. Now, ding, 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 ding. it's Mohale's turn. And he's going to be interviewed in this thingy of his. And he's going to dish a lot about Usomizi. Now, in the trailer, um, he's saying things like, Usomizi would tell him that he's just a pretty face and he brings nothing to the table. Mm. Mm. Ah, let's talk about, I can't say that word, the A word, a You know what I mean? Let's talk about a you're just a pretty face and you bring nothing to the table. But the crazy thing about the situation is that when Somizi got with Muhale, he knew that he was just a pretty face. As a matter of fact, isn't it that? And I'm not too sure, right? So this is not fact. Isn't it that Somizi met Muhale at a meet and greet signing thing? So he knew he was just a pretty face, right? Like, like he, so means he, okay, he wanted Muhammad to just be a stay at home husband and do nothing and just bend it over. I bend it. I bend it over. <laughs> so means he wanted Muhammad to sit on his face like Bonang is saying about that major leagues guy. It's not really that effective when Bonang says it, is it? But it's just, just really small. These really men want you to sit on their face when you got these big gigantic butts like some of us even though we don't like them but we do like to sit on faces <laughs> i just had to throw that in there <laughs> but yeah literally muhali was just a thingy to so easy so people shouldn't be all, all concerned about this money high situation Everybody in the situation was using everybody and everybody knew their roles. It's just that, that Muhale probably got um, tired of the apparent physical and emotional abuse 
Now, when this expose thingy comes out, what's going to happen to Somizi? Because remember, Somizi was cancelled. But for a very short period of time, it wasn't even worthwhile. It wasn't even that juicy. I think I did a three-part video about it. If you guys haven't checked it out, you should go and watch it. Wrong. He was cancelled a little bit, right? And he came right back. However, some of you did say that he has powerful ancestors. And during that time, he started going to Sangomas and all that kind of freaky dicky stuff. People, is it going to be cancelled this time if Muhale tells us more about the apparent abuse or it comes out of Muhale's mouth the same things that we heard on the audios? Is that going to change things? Is this cancel culture going to apply for this big star so easy or is it not? Right? Can't keep a good man down. But is Somizi a good man? Something really funny about him, you know? When I saw that situation when he was bullying um, Lerato Kanyako, right? Calling her Lerato Mateba. I was like, no. He's just one of those people. It's very high school-like. That he'll fly with the wind just to impress the cool kids type of situation. When I was ever didn't even seem impressed. I don't know why he was doing it. Maybe he was buying face. And at that time, Zomizi wasn't really all glitzy and glamorous. He was more like glycerin and Vaseline. Uh, you know, that's he was shiny. That's how he looked. He, that's how he looked. He didn't have as much money as he does now. But really, does that like or maybe Zomizi is like Abu Misani, you know, Abu, who, who was that girl, man? The Mini Lamini, when they said that apparently, allegedly, they have to sleep with the DSTV bosses. Why did Samiz is getting up to that kind of stuff? Because why was he cancelled for a little, little short period of time? And if, um, when Mohalin now does his little thingy, will he be cancelled again? I'm really curious to find out. Will he be back on idols? And all that kind of stuff. And after Muhale's little thingy, what is Somizi's next move gonna be? Because he must have something up his sleeve. Muhale made a move when the audios came out. Then Somizi made his move in the reality show. Now Muhale's making his move. What's Somizi gonna do next? It's like in Dabazia Pela. You understand? It's that type of situation. Once you don't have something on someone, does that mean that Mohal is going to win this battle and rise? No. He's not really going to rise. Not, not to the level of some easy. That will never happen. He's just not that entertaining. And truth of the matter is, he's not even that good looking. Like He, he just looks like an average guy. You know? <laughs> sort of. Type of situation. Apparently, this thingy is coming out on the 4th of August or something like that, I'll find out. Well, I'll definitely be watching it just to see how it plays out. Um, I hope that he got paid for this thingy because it would be a damn shame not to make a buck from the situation, not knowing if it's going to go left or right. You know what I mean? There's just so much drama and it never ends. And baby, I'm here for it all. And I know that you're here for it all too. Right, and if you guys want more interesting commentary videos, please do like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And baby, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>